Greetings from Idaho in April. Isn't it beautiful out here today? It's a nice sunny day. My little bushes and stuff around here are starting to bud. And in my preparation to go to Alaska, I've been trying to clean up my yard a little bit because I won't be here for months. There used to be these three blue kitty pools out here that the other lady used to water her alpacas, I do believe. But I wanted to get rid of them because you can see them from like the satellite dish, I think. They're just these big blue kitty pools that are now in the back of my truck to go to the dump. But unfortunately, just something simple like kitty pools removal opened up a small can of worms because inside these kitty pools I found really excellent soil and plants like irises and ground cover hidden underneath this all these hay sprouts from her using hay everywhere and throwing it everywhere so I thought well I can't just get rid of that I need to do something with it so ta-da <laughs> this is my path that I put in remember that well, I decided to line each side of my path with this stuff in addition to some tulip bulbs that I bought last October that I'm going to try to plant. So, besides the big boulder rocks and whatnot that are in the soil, it's pretty easy to dig. And I pulled up all the grass on top. Been moving some of this rocky dirt over to this this area for sure because this used to be a pond and it's kind of a dip in the yard and it didn't have anything no grass there so I was going to put the soil down level it out and stick the grass on top which will be killing I don't know how many birds with one stone huh speaking of killing birds <clears throat> this is a chopping block and two different axes and I'll show you he doesn't know it yet Oh, he's running away. My rooster number two is going to get whacked. I have to whack a rooster today. So what I've done here in preparation, besides having a big pot of water boiling on the stove, I'm just waiting for it to get hot enough. And then it's his time. His time is up. But I'm going to corral him in here. This is a gate that I have shut that has he can't get through. And I put this other chicken wire stuff fence wire up over here and once I get him in that corner then I gotta grab him and do him in he's been outside for three days trying to get in the coop trying to get in the coop trying to get in the coop trying to get to the chickens trying to get to the chickens the other hens they don't like him and I have a rooster already so before I leave I have to off one so today is the day folks I'm not looking forward to it but I'll let you know how it worked out and I will show you the progress on my path when it's done. Okie dokie. Talk to you later. Bye.